What's up friends, family, and other creatures from the deep dark internet? My name is Dr. Rice and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking all about hemoglobin A1C, everything you need to know, so let's get right into it. So we can't talk about hemoglobin A1C without understanding what the heck hemoglobin actually is. Hemoglobin is one of the major proteins used by red blood cells in order to carry oxygen rich blood all throughout your body. This is important because we need oxygen in order to live and our organs actually need oxygen in order to maintain their properties. Hemoglobin kind of acts like a school bus picking up little oxygen molecules from school or your lungs and delivering them safely all throughout their homes, i.e. the rest of your body. Hemoglobin A1C is therefore a blood test that measures the amount of sugar that is bound to these hemoglobin molecules. It's actually quite simple. The more sugar that you have floating around throughout your body, the more that sugar will bind to the hemoglobin within the red blood cells and increase the value of the hemoglobin A1C. So practically speaking, hemoglobin A1C is essentially just a measurement of the amount of sugar that's bound to the hemoglobin molecules over a three month average period. It measures it over a three month average because that's about the average lifespan of most of the red blood cells within your body. So essentially a hemoglobin A1C allows your healthcare provider to get an idea of your overall blood sugar levels within a three month period. So what is the normal range or an optimal range for hemoglobin A1C? Now, if you know me personally, I don't really like to use the word normal, especially when it comes to medicine, as normal can highly vary from individual to individual. However, there are a series of number cutoffs that we as clinicians use in order to put people in one of three major categories. If your hemoglobin A1C level is less than 5.7%, you are considered to not be a diabetic. If your A1C is between 5.7 and 6.4%, you're in that phase known as pre-diabetes. And if your hemoglobin A1C value is greater than 6.4%, you're known to have full-on diabetes. Now, the good thing about checking a hemoglobin A1C value instead of just a random blood sugar is that because it gives us this average, it allows us to track the progression or the regression of someone's diabetes a little bit more accurately. Thank you so much for checking this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you want me to cover a topic that I haven't yet done so on my channel, please leave a comment down below. As always guys, I will catch you all on the next one.